in this video i'm going to show you how to show a button based on the permission level so just to give you a context i have this application so i've logged in as myself so i'm an administrator similarly alex is also logged into the application now uh, alex is not an administrator of the app but then alex can see various records now the goal is when alex selects a record I need to show a button which says that Alex has that permission. So take for example, if I select one record and if Alex has say delete permission on this record, then a button will be visible over here. Okay, so that's the goal. So in order to accomplish that, what we need to do is we will just go to make.powerapps.com and then we'll go to an application. Now, just to give you the context of the application, I've created an application named as Aussie Resources. And within that application, it's a model driven app. It is connected to a table called as Minerals. Now it's a simple table which lists down all the minerals. And this is how the application looks like. So this is a simple application which lists down all the minerals. So the goal is if I select an item if i select any of the item and if i'm logged in under the context of say alex i should be able to see a button which says that you know that user has permission to delete that record okay so let me refresh the screen and let me go into the application so i'm in this application so i'll go and click on edit so i'm editing the model driven application and then from here I will select the view of the table. So that's the minerals view over here. And then from here, what I'm going to do, I'll click on edit command bar. Okay, so let me close this and let me click on edit command bar, edit a new tab, and this will open the command bar in an edit mode. Now I need to select a command bar to edit. So I'm going to make use of main grid because I want the command bar to be available on that grid. Now, this is how the command bar interface will look like. Okay, so first thing what we need to do, we need to add a command. So I'll click on new and click on command. Okay, so let me overwrite this. And let me click on new and then click on command. Now, once I click on command, it says new command. So what I need to do is I need to put some label to it. Now I'm, I will be testing from an Alex perspective. So I will just put in Alex can delete. Okay, so this is just like, I'm just giving an example. So that's why I'm putting some text over here in terms of the user's name. Okay, you can put whatever name you want. And from an icon perspective, let's use an icon. And let me put a delete, show a delete icon. So this is the delete icon. Uh, and then here also you can put whatever symbol you want. Okay, so if I just put uh, cancel or something like that, I can do that. Okay, so I'll just put a cross and this is how the button will look like. Alex can delete. So the whole goal is I want to show this button when Alex has a delete right on the application or uh, on the record. Okay, now just to show you what right Alex has. So if I go to Power Platform Admin Center, so let me go into the uh, Power Platform Admin Center and show you from the security role perspective. So if I click on users permission, if you go to security roles, against that table, I have created a security in the role named as Aussie resources. So if I go into that security role, and if I show you the custom table, this is the minerals table, I can see that delete is none. Okay, so Alex do not have a delete permission on that record. Okay, so delete is none. So that's a current state. Okay, coming back to the command over here, I want to show this button only if Alex has a delete permission. Now, if I select this button, I'll go to visibility and click on show on condition from formula, open formula part. Now we need to start writing our script over here. So for that script, what we are going to do, we are going to just type in visible. It should be visible and <clears throat> based on some permission. So there is a function called as data source info. Now data source info basically gives the information about the column and the table. Okay. Now here we are going to make use of this uh, 
item over here called as data source info dot delete permission so we are going to check this delete permission okay so how to use this is like if i just type in data source info and then it will take the context of the table so the table is minerals okay and from here i will just say data source info dot delete permission if that is the case it will return a boolean value and the boolean value which is written which will just check whether the user has a delete permission or not if it is yes it will return true now remember we want it at a record level okay so if you see over here i want that information to be shown for alex so if i log in as alex if alex select one record then only that button should be shown because delete is like and per item level action right i don't want that button to be shown when the, there are multiple records selected so we need to take help of the count rows function okay so what we're gonna do we are gonna put an if condition so we will say if this is true okay if this is true then we need to uh, show the button but there are other conditions which we may need to put now let me close this and we will say okay let me make it much bigger yeah so if data source of mental so i'm just gonna uh, make it clear to you so that you understand what i'm writing about i'll say and and or ampersand ampersand there's a second condition which i'm gonna put and i'll just say press enter over here and i'll say if if then another if and this another if will talk about like getting the rows so count rows so count rows of the item which is selected right so the count rows of you know, the item which is which will get selected so which is self dot selected dot all items now if this is equal to one then true then yes i want that record to be shown so i'll just say true comma false okay if it's true if one record is selected then it's true else it is false okay so that's how i put my if condition over here right and i will say because this if is nested within this if i need to get the result out of it so in order to get the result out of it what i will say comma true comma false and i'll just close this bracket and this is my statement so just to show you how the statement looks like so if data source info of mineral data source info dot data delete permission ampersand ampersand if and then i'll just say maybe put it on another row just to be more clear on that this is how the count rows if condition is placed it says if one of the item is selected then only it is true and here you take the true out of it so this is one condition and then from here you say if the user has a delete right then this is an another condition so this is how you basically use that condition okay now if everything is good let's do one thing let's save and publish so once it is saved and published what we may need to do is like we may need to go into alex and then start checking if you select one item whether alex can see that record or not However, in order to view that, Alex should have a delete permission on the record, okay? So in order to do that, what we may need to do, go to the Power Platform Admin Center and go into that specific security rule and say delete permission is at a parent-child business unit level. And whoever has the security role assigned, like the OSI resources, that person will be able to delete a record as well. Now, if you want to see who all are part of aussie resources so let me go into aussie resources security role and if i click on members i can see alex's name over here so if alex's name exists over here then alex can delete a record and we have assigned that permission now how we have assigned that permission just going back here i'll just say aussie resources so that's a mineral table and then from here i can see that alex has a delete permission now coming back to the published record over here i think that 
item will be published as of now so let me refresh the screen and see whether alex has got that right or not so what should happen if i select an item any item within this particular table then that button should appear now let me just do a hard refresh now as you see over here there's no item displayed over here then if i select one of the item now as you see this delete button appears now why it appears because of two conditions why this appears because of two conditions one is one item is selected that is good and second is alex has alex has delete permission on that particular table now it, what happens if i select one more item this button should not be visible so as you see this button is not visible because you have selected one or more more than one item more than one item or if you select zero item this button should not be visible if you select just one item then that button should be visible and then this is how it works now in order to check whether it is taking from that permission structure or not what we can do now is go back to power platform admin center and remove alex's delete right so let's say alex does not have a delete right and i'll click on save now what should happen if i navigate to alex and if i refresh the screen even if i select one item that particular button should not be visible because now alex does not have a delete right so let me select this item and now as you see alex does not have the uh, alex cannot see the button because alex does not have a delete right so multiple it doesn't work single uh, if it is single item selected alex still cannot see now just to revert back going back here go to minerals table delete give it parent child business unit click on save copy alex and let's refresh now once you select one you should be able to see the delete button if i click on refresh if i click on this item we refresh it yes now alex can see this record so what we have done what we have uh, accomplished over here is like a couple of things one is we have used data source info data source info gives you information about the table and the column level uh, values now the column level values will be related to permissions now there are multiple options which we can check we have just taken example of delete permission so in this example what we have done is we have shown you how to show the button if the user has a specific permission now this is not related to just to delete permission this example is specific to delete permission but instead of delete permission you have other permissions like the create permission delete permission edit permission or read permission so read create delete and edit so if you use if you can use that uh, depending on your scenario you can simulate that particular action within the command bar so that's it folks this is how you basically use permissions within the command bar thanks for watching